In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to send invoices or quotes from your monday.com system. I'm going to be covering where to find the feature, how to use the invoices and quotes feature, and then consequently how to share or send it as well. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Before we get into this quick tutorial, if you are signing up to monday.com for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into this quick tutorial. Once you log into monday.com, of course, you will come to the home screen. Now, in order to send invoices or quotes from the monday.com system, you can do this from anywhere, but I'm gonna demonstrate how to do it from the CRM system inside of monday.com. So if you go to workspaces up the top left-hand corner here, and as you can see, I'm on my example workspace on our CRM platform, and this is the deals area. Now, if you don't know how to set up the CRM system, check out another one of my videos that explains everything to do with the CRM inside of monday.com but in this uh, in this video I'm just going to be demonstrating how to send invoices or quotes so I'm on the deals area and let's say I would like to send a an invoice for or a quote to a particular deal all you need to do is select that deal so as you can see I'm just going to select that option there and up the top here you have got a, diff a number of different options but you will find the quotes and invoices area. Go to the quotes and invoices area and as you can see we literally have a quote or invoice format that we can go ahead and fill in and then consequently send out to um, a potential buyer, someone that it wants a quote for the services or the product that you're offering or an invoice. It's entirely up to you how you want to set this up but we have this option here so we need to fill in some information obviously the company as you can see company company name things like that and um, from the bill from bill two we've got the items so we can add items and these need to be manually written in unfortunately they aren't saved um, like a traditional CRM system. So as you can see, we've got a traditional quote format here. We have got the quote number up the top, the quote reference number. We have got the date issued. We can add our company logo if we would like to and a description to the quote. We can then obviously fill in the information for the bill from and the bill to as well. So what the business you are and then the business you are sending it to. And then finally, we can add the items. So the product or the service that you are sending this particular quote um, for. To, the, to that deal to see if they're interested in purchasing the product or service, or if you need to um, renegotiate the terms to get the price that they are happy with and you are happy with as well. So as you can see, it is very, very self-explanatory. We do have uh, some options at the top left-hand corner. As you can see, the cog, if you press that, you can change the currency. So at the moment it's on dollars, but we can change it to the euro or the pound, or we can just add our own if you're in another country. We've got a tax, so VAT, tax, or we can add our own. We've got a fee type, so shipping, handling, or maybe you want to add an additional fee type um, that is not listed there. You can do. And then finally, we can choose if you'd like to upgrade your plan to monday.com to remove the branding from your document. So at the very bottom here, if I go to the view in a moment's time, you will see the monday.com logo and you may not want that, want that, and understandably so, so you'd need to upgrade if you do not. So we've got the edit area here, and this is where you enter in all the information, but if you go to the view area, you will see, like I mentioned, we have the logo, but all of that information that we would have entered in would all be present here. So I'll quickly go through and just enter in my information, or as much as I can, and then you'll see what that looks like. So as you can see, I've now entered in my information. So that is my bill from, and then whoever I was sending it to, I will go ahead and proceed and enter their information in the edit button. I've got my quote, I've not added a description, and then I've got my monday.com training course, which is the service that I provide, and that is the price. Now that is a very rough price. So uh, if you are interested in monday.com training, feel free to check out my website. Finally, what we then wanna do is be able to send this particular quote or invoice to a customer. So we've got two options we can choose to either send it or we can download it so if you'd like to send the quote you just press the send button um, and then you copy this link here send it to that particular business or that person and then they can view it on the uh, on their computer without having to download anything provided they have connection to the internet so you can just press the copy button and then paste it into an email perhaps or the other option is you press the download button and that this uh, quote then downloads to your computer um, and you can go ahead and send it via email. It is entirely up to you. One thing to note is you can't have multiple quotes. So 
if you sent this quote out, as opposed to creating a new quote, you would just edit this existing quote. So this is on deal name one. So if I exit out and then I'll click back on, you can see that it's still all of this information is still there, but you'd have to edit it as opposed to creating a new one. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's up to you how your business works. Now you may be wondering, is it possible to get quotes and invoices not on the CRM system or just anywhere else on your monday.com system? And it absolutely is. So if I go ahead and just go to my activities, for example, now this can be done for any board, it's just I haven't got any loaded up. Go to activities, just press on any particular uh, item on that board and you'll come to this screen that we were just on. But as you can see, there is no invoices and quotes. In order to add that, just press the plus button and you will see here you've got quotes and invoices. Now, if you can't find it, just search up the top quotes and invoices. Just press the add to board button. And as you can see, it's identical to the one we're working on on the deals area. So uh, you can then go ahead, fill in the information and send it off. Now, you might be doing this for some entirely different reason, but uh, it is available to do throughout the entirety of monday.com. So hopefully this video has been useful, informative, um, and you're now familiar with how to send quotes and invoices out of your monday.com system. I will see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set to go ahead and use the invoices and quotes feature inside of your monday.com system, how to create them and also how to share them as well. If this video has been of any use to you, if it's been at all helpful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to either drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.